Hello everyone, welcome to Rail Tales. In this video, I am going to tell you about new railway line being constructed in Sikkim state to connect with the rest of the India rail network. Sikkim is present in the northeastern part of India. It is the least populous and second smallest state in India. Sikkim state is present in the Himalayan mountain range. The world's third highest peak, Kanchenjung is present in Sikkim. Most of the Sikkim land is covered with mountains and forest. 35% of the land comes under the Kanchenjung National Park region. Gangtok is the capital city of Sikkim. Sikkim officially became a state of India in 1975 through a referendum. Strategically, Sikkim is important for India because it has borders with three countries. Tibet in the north and northeast, Bhutan in the east, Nepal in the west, and West Bengal state in the south. Till now, there is no rail connectivity to Sikkim. Nearest railway station to Sikkim state is Sivok railway station, present in West Bengal state. Major junction railway stations present near to Sikkim state are Siliguri junction railway station and New Jalpaiguri junction railway station. People living in the Sikkim state need to travel to Siliguri or New Jalpaiguri stations to travel to other parts of India. Although the state of Sikkim is close to the Sivyok railway station, the railway line passing through that railway station is not an important railway line. So only few trains passes through that railway line. To reach the New Jalpaiguri or Siliguri railway station, one has to travel via National Highway 10 from Sikkim. But this road is single lane and passes through hills and forests. During monsoons, this road is shut down due to landslides and traffic jam and many other reasons which make travel very tough. The state has borders with three countries, especially it has borders with China. It is therefore crucial to moving troops across the border. But this road is also blocked during the monsoon season, making it difficult to move troops. So the Indian government has decided to build a railway line to Sikkim to make it easier for people in Sikkim to travel to the other states and for the military to move troops and their supplies. Before going into the details of railway line, let's take a look at the state boundaries of Sikkim, the nearest railway lines, National Highway 10 in the map. Sikkim is present in the northeastern part of India. This is the Sikkim state. I told you it has border with three countries. On north and northeastern side, it has border with Tibet. This line is Tibet Sikkim border line. In eastern side, it has border with Bhutan country. This line is Bhutan Sikkim border line. On west side, it has border with Nepal country. This is Nepal Sikkim border line. On south side, it has a border with West Bengal. This red line is Sikkim West Bengal border line. The area present below the purple line is Bangladesh country. This is Gangtok city, capital city of Sikkim state. This is the nearest railway line to the Sikkim, which passes through West Bengal state. Nearest railway station to the Sikkim state is Sivok Railway Station. The railway line passes through the Sivok Railway Station is not an important railway line. So only a few trains passes through this railway line. Major railway line which connects eastern states with the rest of the India passes through New Jalpaiguri Railway Station. Majority of the trains passes through this railway line. If Sikkim people want to travel in trains, other than trains passing through Sivok railway station which is nearest railway station to Sikkim, they have to travel either New Jalpaiguri railway station or Siliguri railway station. Because these two railway stations are major railway stations, many trains originates and passes through these stations. This is 
Darjeeling Railway Station. Darjeeling is hill station. The railway line present between Darjeeling and Siliguri is Narogez Railway Line. All these railway stations are present in West Bengal state. If people of Sikkim state want to travel to other parts of India, they has to travel to West Bengal. Let's see the route of National Highway 10 which connects Sikkim and West Bengal. People who want to travel to New Jalpaiguri Railway Station or Siliguri Railway Station, they have to travel through this route which passes through mountains. Even the military troops has to travel through this route to reach Nathula Pass. Nathula Pass is present near Sikkim-Tibet border. To overcome all these difficulties, Indian government decided to lay a railway track to Sikkim state. Coming to the details of new railway line. So, Indian government decided to construct a railway line from Sivok railway station which is present in West Bengal state to Rangpo region in Sikkim. And government had a future plan of extending this railway line from Rangpo to Gangtak and from Gangtak to Nathula Pass. First proposal to construct this railway line was came in 2001. But until 2009, there is no progress in this railway line. In 2009, in the month of October, West Bengal Chief Minister and Vice President of India laid a foundation stone for this railway line. The total length of this railway line is 45 km according to final alignment. In this 45 km, 41.5 km route passes through West Bengal state and only 3.5 km route passes through Sikkim state. This track will have total 28 bridges, 14 tunnels and 38.5 km of the track will be in tunnels. This railway line passes through valleys, elephant sanctuary. So final clearance of environmental ministry hadn't received till 2013. So till 2013 there is no progress in this railway line construction. To protect the environment, railways came up with a proposal to install elephant sensors along the stretch of the proposed railway line in Mahananda Elephant Sanctuary are running the speed of the trains only in 20 km per hour in the forest area. Some people filed a case in Supreme Court to stop the construction of this railway line. After hearing the arguments of Indian government, Supreme Court of India gave approval for construction of this railway line in 2016. Then the construction of this railway line was started. Due to delay, project estimated cost has escalated from 1340 crores to 4000 crores. As a part of this railway line, new railway stations being constructed at Riyang, Tista Bazar, Meli and Rangpo. The Tista Bazar railway station will be developed as an underground railway station. This railway project is big boost for revenue generated through tourism as the route will connect many tourist places and hill stations. This railway line make traveling easy for the people of Sikkim and helps military to move troops faster towards Indo-Tibetan border. Let's have a look of railway line in map. This is Sivok railway station which is present in West Bengal state. This is Rangpo region. Here we are going to get Rangpo railway station. Sikkim railway line is being constructed between Sivok and Rangpo regions. This railway line passes through Riyang region. Next, Gelikola region. After Gelikola, this railway line passes through Tista Bazar. This station will be developed as an underground railway station. After Tista Bazar, this railway line passes through Meli region. From Meli region, this railway line passes parallelly with Tista river. 
and at Rangpur region it crosses the Tista river. Once the construction of this railway line is completed till Rangpur, government had a plan to extend this railway line to Gangtak. There is another proposal to extend this railway line from Gangtak to Nathula Pass. Once the construction of this railway line is completed, the people of Sikkim can reach Silguri or Jalpaiguri railway stations through train. And there will be a chances of running trains from Rangpo to different parts of India. These are the details of Sikkim railway project. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.